Submarine battle flags are a really good way for uh, a crew to uh, brag and uh, talk about uh, their achievements during the war. And, and certainly COD uh, uh, was really no different. This is a, a copy of COD's World War II battle flag. Uh, and it uh, contains uh, uh, icons representing ships sunk and uh, various other aspects of COD's history. Hello, I'm Paul Ferrace, director of the USS COD Submarine Memorial, and I'm glad you're joining us here on our YouTube channel, and we're going to talk about COD's battle flag. Now, the battle flag was designed at the end of the war by the crew. Uh, they were commercially produced. They cost $7, I'm told and uh, a sufficient number were created for everybody who ponied up their seven dollars. Um, this one uh, that we have right here uh, was the uh, property of uh, uh, crewman, um, what's her name is right here, uh, it was donated uh, uh, by uh, one of our, our crewmen, uh, his name seems to be lost temporarily, oh here it is right here, it's presented by uh, the COD by Motor Mac Albert Pilot. There we go, Albert. Thank you, Albert. Um, it has quite a few flags. Uh, in fact, it has more flags on it than you would see painted on the conning tower, which is based on what the captains claimed in the war patrol reports. But when this flag was designed by the crew, the enlisted men, those patrol reports would have been highly classified. So they basically designed it based on conjecture and what the old salts uh, remembered from the earlier war patrols. Uh, let's talk about what they mean. Okay, so on the top we have the Asahi, the rising sun with rays, the Japanese Imperial Navy uh, flag. So those connote warships sunk. Uh, on the outside, the large Hinomaru flags, that's the flag of the Japanese merchant fleet. So these represent cargo ships sunk. Uh, the smaller Hinomarus uh, represent uh, the junks. Uh, the seventh final patrol uh, was a junk interdiction patrol. Junks were not officially members of the Japanese merchant fleet. They were privately owned, uh, wooden sailing vessels. Um, they were forced into service or coerced into service by the Japanese. Uh, we sank uh, 26 of those on our final war patrol. Uh, and of course, the flag of Thailand the only Asian allies the Japanese had. Uh, on COD-6 patrol, uh, we sank a sea truck and an oil barge, uh, both flying the Thai flag. And in the center, of course, is COD's battle emblem, an enemy skull pierced by a torpedo, which, of course, in various uh, versions is uh, uh, adorns COD crew uh, sweatshirts and jackets and patches. Um, the original flag, uh, uh, battle flag emblem, was designed by crewman Johnny Baker, whose bunk is right above us right here. He slept here in the after torpedo room in the presidential suite or the, uh, uh, the penthouse suite. Uh, for those of you that might know something about uh, World War II fleet boats, that is not the bridal suite. Uh, the bridal suite is two bunks side by side. When it's a single bunk, it's the presidential suite or the, uh, 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 the penthouse suite. But back to our flag. So Johnny Baker painted that on a sea jacket. We know that because he appears in some color movies uh, where he shows that off. Sadly, although he promised to return that to the boat uh, at a reunion in the 90s, uh, he discovered that his wife had thrown it out years earlier uh, because it was a moldy, messy piece of junk. And what can we say? So many mothers and wives have destroyed history. Uh, we cry at the loss. But anyway, um, Johnny Baker is credited with the Skull uh, logo. Um, we have certainly uh, uh, enjoy uh, uh, various versions of that uh, on our memorabilia sold in the shop. Uh, we have our uh, silhouette of a kangaroo because five of COD-7 war patrols uh, were based out of Australian ports. Um, we're going to jump up here to the top. The, uh, the two uh, um, uh, campaign or the two service ribbons, the submarine dolphins for the U.S. submarine service, which we're, of course, members of. Seven stars because all seven patrols uh, were successful. Uh, the Underzee Dienst is the Dutch version of the American uh, Dolphins. Now, in World War II, 
uh, the Dutch submarine service had the simple uh, white and red ribbon under Zeedienst or undersea service. Uh, they later on adopted uh, twin dolphins around a crown. Uh, they weren't the fish dolphins, they were rather the swimming mammal dolphins. Uh, down here, the martini glass over the name O19. Now that commemorates history's only international submarine to submarine rescue, which of course Cod performs uh, when she uh, came to the aid of the Dutch submarine O19 after it grounded on Lad Reef. Uh, after two days of trying to pull it free, uh, when the last cable snapped, our captain transferred the crew of the Dutch sub aboard and we had to destroy the O19. But for the three-day trip to safety, Cod uh, flies the Dutch and the American flag side by side. Uh, that uh, gesture touched the, uh, the Dutch so much that they adopted Cod as an honorary Dutch submarine, hence the fact that we carry the Underzee Dienst ribbon uh, under the U.S. Twin Dolphins on our flag. So we're, of course, very proud of that. Um, we have custody of five of these flags. Uh, sadly, most of those were returned to us after their owners uh, passed away. One copy was uh, donated to the Dutch submarine uh, Traditekammer, or the, uh, the uh, Dutch Submarine uh, History Center in Den Helder, uh, because uh, it carries the O-19 and the other Zedin. So that is uh, proudly displayed uh, in Den Helder. Uh, and that uh, copy of the flag was actually delivered from Norfolk, Virginia to Den Helder by the Dutch submarine Braunvis uh, a few years back when we were invited aboard for dinner and a tour. Uh, I brought a copy uh, of this uh, flag uh, for delivery to the Den Helder uh, Museum uh, via the Dutch submarine service. So that's a little bit of uh, COD's history. That's our battle flag. Uh, of course, if you've probably seen uh, various versions of other submarines' battle flags, um, they could be larger. Uh, they could be somewhat smaller. Uh, this one, again, was commercially produced uh, in the United States right at the end of the war. So thank you, and keep uh, checking back. Remember to like, uh, hit the subscribe button, and the bell for notifications. And we're great. Grateful to have you aboard.